Oh, oh, there you go. Hey, check this out. Here's the situation. Say you out with your boyfriend or your girlfriend. You know, you're at school. You had a club or something, getting busy. All right, you're just having fun. Somebody steps up to you, and they tell you they want to rumble. All right, now, now just stop for a second. Before you lose your head, get all crazy, and toss your hands up, just think. The person that uses the head can always defeat the person that's just trying to use their hands. Now, remember that, because the more you know. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Metropolis Radio. Today, we are talking once again about the Will Smith incident because, quite frankly, there's nothing else that's really going on. And yes, I know what I ti- I know what I titled this video, and I stand by it. But before we go any further, guys, just remember that at least one of my videos every week will not be coming to the YouTube channel. They will only be coming to my BitChute, Odyssey, and Rumble channels. So if you're only fo- so if you're watching this on YouTube and you have not started following me on at least one of the three alternative sites, the links to those are down in the description below. And with that out of the way, guys, let's get into this. All of these articles here are coming from the Hollywood Reporter. Uh, so this first one here, uh, Academy condemns Will Smith behavior at Oscars, sets full board of governors meeting. The organization behind the Academy Awards already opened a formal review of the moment when the Best Actor winner slapped the comedian. Well, yeah, at the at the at this point, um, the Academy's hand was uh, was kind of forced because you know you've got th- this is this is now international news. This isn't just relegated to you know the online. This isn't just relegated relegated to movie blogs. I mean, you've got industry trades like the Hollywood Reporter and Variety talking about this. And the first I the first time when I heard about this incident, I saw uh, I saw the clip from uh, from uh, the Guardian, which is a British newspaper. So yeah, their their hand is pretty much forced in this regard. But anyway, um, Sunday night's Will Smith incident at the 2022 Oscars will not be fading away quietly. Well, no shit in that regard because n- not only do you have the international newspapers talk about, you even have the late night talk show comedians are jumping on board like like the uh, like the Jimmy Kimmel's and the Jimmy Fallon's of the world and recently you even had James Corden do a whole song and fucking dance regarding the incident We don't talk about Jada no 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 We don't talk about Jada A full meeting of the Academy's Board of Governors has been called for Wednesday evening so that will be, I believe that's tomorrow. Yes, uh, March 30th, 2022. Um, bu- 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 where, where was I before? Oh, duh. Uh, where the matter of Smith slapping presenter Chris Rock on stage at the ceremony is expected to be topic number one. The Hollywood Reporter has learned exclusively. And, and, here's, and here's the thing, guys. I would not be jumping on this if it wasn't for the fact that the Hollywood Reporter was talking about it. You know, if this was... If this was some random ass movie blog like we got this covered or or bounding into comics, no way. They're, they're, you know, t- take it with a huge grain of salt. But if you have the Hollywood Reporter reporting it, um, knowing knowing full well that they are that they are a legacy industry trade, there's probably a there's probably a little bit of truth to it. Um, the decision comes just hours after the officers of the Academy's Board of Governors, including President David Rubb and CEO Don Hudson, con- convened Monday for an emergency phone call about the incident. Shortly thereafter, the Academy issued a statement declaring, quote, The Academy condemns the actions of Mr. Smith at last night's show. We have officially started a formal review around the incident and we and will explore further action and consequences in accordance with our bylaws, standards of conduct, and California law. Um, the first post-Oscars board meeting always features a post-mortem of the ceremony and addresses issues those arose that, that arose during the show, but that does not usually happen this soon after the ceremony. Some sanction of Smith is likely, perhaps a suspension of his Academy membership, as some members are calling for, but in all likelihood, not the revocation of his Best Actor Oscar, and we, and we will get back into this by the end, uh, believe me, but there's... There's a little more that we need to talk. There's a little more that we need to cover before I can really give my full take on that. 
um, as as others would like to see, referring to the revocation of his best actor. Um, even Harvey Weinstein and Roman Pol even Harvey Weinstein's Roman and Roman Polanski's Oscars were never rescinded. Again, we'll get we'll get back in we'll get back into this by the end because there's a little more ground that we need to cover. Um, Whoopi Goldberg, a member of the Board of Governors who's also an Oscar winner and former host, said as much on the View on Monday. Quote. We're not going to take that Oscar from him. There will be consequences, I'm sure, but I don't think that's what they'll do. During Sunday night's live telecast, okay, he responded to a joke. In case if you are living under a rock um, and you have not seen it, which I don't know how, but hey, there might be five of you watching this that probably have. I'm going to go ahead and uh, replay the clip. Instead of just reading about it, I'm going to replay the clip for you in its entirety. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. The Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. <laughs> okay. The expletives were censored for U.S. audiences, but were shared unedited on social media. So, uh, shortly thereafter, Smith was named Best Actor be best actor winner for King Richard, and while receiving his first ever Oscar, he apologized to the Academy and his fellow, nom and his fellow nominees. He did not, however, mention Rock. Well, no, well, yeah, that was actually funny. Is like his, his acceptance speech wasn't really an acceptance speech as it was more of a defense. But anyway, that's, that's, um, that's, gr that's ground that, that, that I've already covered in my first video regarding this. Um, after the show, the Academy tweeted a statement saying it does not condone violence of any form. Yeah, it doesn't condone violence yet. You allowed Will Smith to still accept the award, but you don't condone, but you don't condone violence of any form. Despite the fact that your best ask that your best actor winner, your 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 bet your best actor winner, you know, ran up on didn't exactly di didn't you know run up onto the stage. I'm exaggerating, but still, basically got up onto the stage and bitch slapped Chris Rock on live TV and was still allowed to accept the award and not be escorted out of the building because he's Will fucking Smith. Smith and Rock attended se separate after parties with Smith saying that it's been a beautiful night while dancing at the Vanity Fair Oscar party. Rock was spotted at Guy, I, I got, at guy Osiris after party. I have no idea who, who that fucking guy, I don't know who any of these fucking people are. The Los Angeles Police Department confirmed that Rock declined to file a police report. Uh, producer Will Packer talking, talking to Twitter, okay, so he tweeted on Monday, called the moment very painful for me on many levels. Well, yeah, you know, this is going to come back and really bite the Academy Awards in the ass because as I as I said in yesterday's video and I'll go ahead and I'll repeat it here that, you know, effectively what this moment did is it destroyed the Academy Awards' perception of prestigious award show um and it basically got knocked down to well, this is now nothing more than the goddamn Jerry Springer show. But um, we also have this report that came out about uh, what was going on backstage as the Will Smith incident unfolded. And this was an exclusive to the uh, to the Hollywood Reporter. In a green room packed with A-listers, Rock's manager sat stunned. Smith's publicist huddled with the Academy's president and CEO and people were gasping. Well, yeah, I think what happened is people initially thought that it was a work to have Will Smith come up on the stage and bitch slap him on, on, on live TV. But the minute that he dropped the tone and started like yelling at, at Chris Rock, I think people started get, getting the sense of, oh my God, this, this may actually be genuine. Um, but here we go. When Chris Rock stepped out onto the, onto the stage of the Dolby Theater at 7.25 p.m. Pacific time on Sunday night to present the best documentary feature Oscar, 
Uh, the 16th award presentation of the night if you are watching on TV, or 18th if you had been in attendance for the hour before the live telecast, when several were handed out and pre-taped, there was no reason to anticipate any problems. Well, yeah, it's best documentary. Who who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? You know, well now, well, well now everybody's gonna be talking about it, but they're not gonna be talking about the fact that he was presenting for best documentary. They're gonna be talking about the fact that he basically got bitch slapped on live TV. Uh, Rock's rehearsal on Saturday in front of Academy officials and his friend Will Packer, the producers of the Oscars telecast, had gone smoothly. And on Sunday night, with just six Oscars still to be handed out, the end the end was in sight. Then, of course, came Rock's joke about Jada Pinkett Smith, which was not which was not in the script and not part of Rock's routine at his rehearsal, which enraged Will which enraged Will Smith. Followed by the slap and seen and followed by the slap seen and heard around the world. Now, again, if this were coming from some random ass movie blog, I would take it with a grain of salt. But given that this is the Hollywood Reporter reporting this, that that the joke was not in the script and not part of his and not part of the rocks and not part of Chris Rock's routine at, at the at the rehearsal, there's probably there's probably a little bit of truth to that. Um, the Hollywood Reporter can report for the first time what was going on backstage when all hell broke loose at the Oscars, having spoken with multiple sources who were in the green room at the time. There were tons of people there, says one source who remembers spotting Serena and Venus Williams, as well as numerous A-listers waiting to waiting to present upcoming awards, including Jake Gyllenhaal, Zoe Kravitz, Kevin Costner, Anthony Hopkins, and the trio who would later present Smith and his Best Actor Oscar, Samuel L. Jackson, Uma Thurman, and John Travolta. Also present was, was a cadre of top-tier publicists, including Smith's own longtime rep, Meredith O'Sullivan Wasson. Um, some were paying more attention than others to the action uh, on, on the three TVs in the room, but as the Smith incident unfolded, according to another source, quote, it went very quiet, then says another, everyone was like, what the fuck is happening? Did that just happen? Oh my God, people were gasping. People who have just presented awards generally return to the green room, but Rock did not do so following the completion of the Best Documentary Oscar presentation to Questlove, for, for Summer of Soul, which most in the audience and backstage barely remember, as they were still stunned, Smith returned to his seat after the altercation. Chris Rock's manager Jason Weinberg sat stunned and then was asked to go speak with the Los Angeles Police Department. Chris Rock ultimately declined to press charges, as we already know. Once the show went to a commercial break, the Academy's outgoing CEO Don Hudson and President David Rubin, accompanied by the Academy's press spokesperson, hustled backstage looking, quote, as serious as could be, and walked very, very fast into a private room with Meredith, one of the sources reports. Hudson and Rubin never returned to their seats in the audience, and Watson spent the next several commercial breaks co commuting between, between the backstage area and Smith's seat, where she conferred with him as he held the hand of Pinkett Smith, who, who seemed to be speaking with a representative of her own. During the first commercial break after the incident, as captured on video, Smith went into a corner of the room with Denzel Washington and Tyra Perry, who appeared to be consoling him and advising him to brush the incident off his shoulders, each literally making the physical gesture on a different shoulder of Smith's. As Smith returned to his front row seat, he was approached and hugged by Bradley Cooper, and then headed back to his seat, wiping his eyes with the tissue along the way. Several celebrities, including Tiffany Haddish, attempted to approach the Smiths, but quickly realized that it was not an opportune time to do so. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's rather interesting. I think Chris Rock uh, pretty much uh, got, pretty much left the fucking building after that. You know, if we're being 100% honest, if, if, um, you know, if they're saying here, where, where was it that, that he didn't even, that uh, he didn't even, he didn't even go back. He didn't even go back to the green room. Yeah. He probably got, he probably, you know, got the fuck out of Dodge before it got, before it got any worse. Um, because you really don't know which way, which direction the wind is going to blow, especially if you went off script and off, and, and off kilter again, you could, you could piss a lot of people off backstage and it's like, well, probably best to leave and uh and and avoid an even further mess but obviously this incident got so bad that will smith was basically forced to apologize to chris rock 
Um, but he did it on Instagram. You know, the moment when he could have done it during his acceptance speech, when he um, when he apologized to the Academy and his fellow nominees, but not Chris Rock personally. Well, now he had to apologize to Chris Rock, and we are gonna read the the um, the uh, the the um, the uh, apology in full. And uh, here is his entire um, apology written on Instagram. I'm gonna put the text up on the screen because. It is a bitch and a half to download anything from from uh, from Instagram, and I'd rather not do it. So I'd rather just I'd rather just do it this way. So anyway, uh, enough dilly dallying. Um, here we go. Here the here's the first paragraph. Um, violence in all forms of its former of uh, in violence in all of its forms. I I do apologize. Okay, violence in all of its forms is poisonous and destructive. My behavior at Last Dance Academy Awards was unacceptable and inexcusable. Okay, I, I mean at least he's kind of owning up to it. Jokes at my expense are a part of the job. At least he's acknowledging it. But wait, there. But wait, what? What's this? But a joke about Jada's medical condition was too much for me to bear, and I reacted emotionally. See, right, right off, right off the bat, if it, like, 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 let's actually examine this for this first paragraph. You know, violence in all of its forms is poisonous and destructive. My behavior at last night's Academy Awards was unacceptable and inexcusable. Okay, like I say, he's kind of owning up to it. Jokes at my expense are a part of the job, but at least uh, now he's being intellectually honest. But what is he doing here? You know, with this, you know, you know, you know, jokes at my expense are a part of the job, but a joke about my wife's medical condition, he's trying to shift the blame and saying, you know, how dare Chris Rock get me all riled up and uh, and make me even consider doing this. You know, it's 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 not, you know. It's not a, I'm sorry that I lacked complete, I'm sorry that I lacked self-control, I probably shouldn't have done it. No, I need to make sure that I still put the blame on Chris Rock in some, in so, in so, in some way, shape, or form. This is absolutely fucking pathetic of, of a first paragraph. This is something that, that, that a fucking sixth grader would, would come up with is, is they would kind of own up to it, but still find some way to shift the blame on the other person. But anyway, get, okay, now let's get into the second paragraph here. I would like to publicly apologize to you, Chris. I was out of line and I was wrong. I am embarrassed and my actions were not indicative of the man that I want to be. There is no place for violence in a world of love and kindness. But, but, but see, the last part of his third sentence in the first paragraph completely undermines th this entire point when when you when, when you are in honest about the jokes are are uh, the jokes at your expense are a part of the job but how dare you make a joke about my wife's medical condition despite the fact that she's been very very public about it on 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 instagram and there's a video of her ba basically admitting to shaving her head and embracing the and, and embracing and, and, and embracing her baldness, but but how dare you cross that line, Mr. Chris Rock? But anyway, get get into this final point here. Get into this final paragraph. I would also like to apologize to the Academy, the producers of the show, all the attendees, and everyone watching around the world. I would like to apologize to the Williams family and my King Richard family. I deeply regret that my behavior has stained what has been an otherwise gorgeous journey for all of us. I am still a work in progress. Sincerely, Will. Well, at least he's still intellectually honest by the end that uh, that when he admits that uh, that his behavior has stained what has been an otherwise gorgeous journey. But again, let, let's get back into that because, um, well, not only was he forced to apologize, now you have the union is now le is probably leaning in on the uh, on the academy at this point um sag aftra says will smith's slap on chris rock during oscars is unacceptable uh for those that don't know who, what sag aftra is that's the that's the actors union in uh in hollywood there actually was two unions there was sag and there was aftra sag was the hollywood union after was the broadway union and then they merged in like 2012 but uh but uh here but but um but but here we but here we go this is this is sag after the union now weighing in uh quote as the union represent as the union representing presenters and other performers working on the oscars sag after is focused on ensuring our members always work in a safe environment sag after said in a statement violence or physical abuse in the workplace is never appropriate and the un and the union condemns any such conduct the incident involving Will Smith and Chris Rock at last night's Academy Awards was unacceptable. We have been in contact with the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences and ABC about this incident, 
and will work to ensure this behavior is appropriately addressed. sag after does not comment on any pending me on any pe on any on any pending member disciplinary process. Well, no shit, because what they're pro what they're probably doing is they're probably holding out and just seeing what the what the what the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences is going to do. But like I said, guys, I was going to get back to to an earlier point here, and uh, let's um and uh and and um and let's find it. Um, crap, I should have I should have really uh re really um highlighted this. Um, bu 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 bum. um. Yeah. Okay. Here. Here we go. Um. Um. Actually. Actually, guys. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead. I'm gonna pause the recording. Just make sure that I have like the right section. Uh, the right section highlighted, and then we'll come. We'll come. I'll come right back in just a couple of short minutes. Okay. Yes. I did. I did have the right section highlighted. So anyway, let's go into this. Uh. So here's the earlier section I want to come back to. Some sanction. Some sanction of Smith is likely. Perhaps a suspension of his academy membership, as some members are calling for, but in all likelihood, not the revocation of his Best Actor Oscar, as others would as others would like to see. But see, the problem with that is is now the academy the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences is now really really put in a bad spot because this this has gone beyond you know this has gone beyond the movie sphere at this point you know. This has now become international fucking news and nobody is talking. This is the only thing that they're talking about with regards to the 94th Academy Awards. It's not the fact that Coda won Best Picture. It's not a million other things that probably went on that night. No, it's the fact that Will Smith bitch slapped Chris Rock, you know, while Chris Rock was on stage. Sure, you could argue that Chris Rock told, told a bad joke. But that doesn't excuse the assault, and I do like that they that they uh, that they bring this up. That you know, even Harvey Weinstein and Roman Polanski didn't never had their Oscars rescinded. Yes, they have a very very bad history of a of a lack of accountability when people were people were saying with with Harvey Weinstein and Roman Polanski of hey these guys were actually convicted. Why have you still not rescinded their Academy Awards? Look, I'm someone, I am all for separating the art from the artist, but I would fully support the Academy Motion Picture of Arts and Sciences coming out and rescinding uh, Harvey Weinstein and Roman Polanski's Oscars just on the grounds of these two were actually convicted in court of, of, what, of what they were accused of. So it's not, like they're, it's not like they're caving to public opinion. There was an actual... There was an actual freaking trial, and uh, Whoopi Goldberg saying we're not going to take that Oscar from him. There will be consequences, I'm sure, but I don't think that's what they'll do. Let's go back to Will Smith's bullshit apology here. Of, uh, um, I deeply regret that my behavior has stained what has been an otherwise gorgeous journey for all of us. You know, right there, I think even he acknowledges that that something drastic is going to have to happen like revoking his Oscar. That might be the only that might be the only path forward. Because now now what now what did his now what did his behavior stain uh in 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 regards to this? Well, not only has it stained his personal reputation, it also stained the movie that he won best actor for. It also stained it also stained the academy that, you know, you know, finally, you know, uh, you know, he had two nominations prior uh, for best actor and he didn't win. Now this is the time where he won, but now the assault against Chris Rock may invoke, may invoke, um, a, a very, very loud war cry of take that, take that Oscar away from him. And how dare you allow him to accept the award even after he, even after he, he had assaulted him. I don't care what the Academy says on Twitter of we don't can we don't condone any violence in any form or what whatever they said. The the old adage is actions speak louder than words. Was Will Smith removed from the building that night? No. He later accepted the the award for best actor. So see, you can say all you want that you don't condone violence in any form, but Actions are speaking louder than words. You didn't have the guy removed from the building and you didn't come out and say and, and have the presenters say 
due to what happened earlier, we are not going to be presenting the Best Actor Oscar. Will Smith was supposed to win, but we cannot condone the actions that he took. We cannot condone his actions of him assaulting Chris Rock on live fucking TV. Yeah, that's probably going to piss some people off. But again, actions speak louder than words. And do you really do you really want to know why I I truly believe that they're going to revoke his Oscar? Because now you have the you now you have the union leaning in. This is no longer just, you know, random ass people on the internet and international and and journalists from international publications. No, no, no. Now SAG AFTRA, the union is now weighing in. So um who's to say that the uh, that the union doesn't threaten the academy in such a way of, you know, of now you have members of SAG AFTRA are not going to present or host at the Academy Awards because now there's a now there's a legitimate question for their safety. So you now you now have the union weighing in, potential threats are going to ensue. Yeah, at, at this point you're you're going to give crying baby you're going to give crying baby what what they want. At, at this point there there is no way for the Academy to make a decision that won't piss people off. But but now they're put they're put in a really really bad spot because if they go one way, if they just merely issue a suspension against Will Smith, everybody's going to be decrying about the fact that he basically got away with assault, and you gave him an and you allowed him to an accept accept an award and keep it, and then you're going to have people from from uh, from and then you're going to have members of the union, the members of SAG after saying, "Well, fuck this, I'm not hosting the Academy Awards. I'm not even going to be a presenter at him because." Oh my, because, oh my God, I have to worry about, you know, pissing some guy off. And now you've set the precedent that they can come up on the stage and, and just, and just either bitch slap them or do, or do whatever, or do whatever you want, or just do whatever they want to them. And if they're, and if they're, and, and, and if they're set to win, if they're set to win an award that night, they're pretty much guaranteed goddamn immunity. You know, why, why does, why does Will, why does Will Smith get, get a fucking pass here? You know the fact that this has reached international levels is gonna is going to call for drastic action. Whether Will Smith wants to admit that or not, whether these people genuinely want to admit it or not, and guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here because I think I think you I think you get my point at, at this point. If you stuck around this long, thanks so much for doing so. And if you've been following me long enough, you know I am terrible at ending these videos. So I will just see you guys uh, next time.